architecture, the stones are dressed and worked and joined together with carpentry joints in stone. As we approach the monument, there are a few myths that we need to get rid of. Myth number one. Stonehenge is not and never was a Druid temple. The Druids did not exist in this country until this site had been abandoned for a thousand years. Druids are a Celtic priesthood. The modern day Druids adopted this site in the 1700s. Whatever this site is, we know what it is not. It is not a Druid temple. Myth number two. There are a couple of stones on site that have romantic names today, but do not relate to their purpose. The first being the hill stone, which is the one against the fence nearest the road. This stone is the one remaining of two that is believed to have formed the entrance to the monument from the sacred way in, the avenue, which is joining the monument from the right hand side of the bus. Popular legend has it that the summer solstice sunrise, viewed from the centre of the monument, is directly over the hill stone. In fact, this has never been true, as the sunrise is to the left of the stone originally framed between the two. The other stone that needs explaining is the slaughter stone, which can be seen lying down in the ditch beyond the hill stone. This would have originally been upright, again forming an entranceway. There is no evidence of human sacrifice taking place here at Stonehenge, and the reason we believe that it got its rather sinister name is because it has red markings on it. Early antiquarians mistook this for blood. These are not blood stains, simply iron ore deposits in the rock. There is evidence of human activity here long before 3000 BC. In the car park